it's Zena, Warthog Princess, and welcome to another Vera Bradley haul. Happy St. Patrick's Day, or Happy Skate Patrick's Day. <laughs> I'm all decked out in green, including my green socks. Whoops, here, you can see I'm not very flexible, but Kelly has just green on her necklace. Come on. She has it on her Mardi Gras thing there, so nothing special. Hey, BB. She's been raring to go. We had company for lunch, so she's all wore out. Okay. <laughs> anyway, all right. This is the recent online outlet sale. I've been delayed a few days doing other things, sorry. But here it is. Uh, I did get some really good deals. There were a lot of backpacks in this one. Um, I did grab one. You'll see it at the end. But there were a lot of, there were some good deals on this one. Um, this is the... Pajama top. I don't know if it's a tank top, but it's sort of like a almost like a different kind of cut. So it has like a crew neck and it's the rainforest canopy. Sunny vibes. But anyways, I thought it'd be really comfortable. I got the big size because I'm a big girl. And I also, you know, if I'm gonna sleep in it, I don't like it to be tight. So um, I think it will shrink a little bit. It is hundred percent cotton. But it's a pretty good size. So we'll see. I definitely think it'll be great for the summers here in Arizona, for sure. All right, this next item is the bottle gift bag set of two stained glass medallion. So it comes with these two. You've got the, the holiday plaid or ribbons plaid, I think it was called, and then you've got the stained glass medallion. They are recycled cotton. It's just literally like a cotton, um, basically a cotton ditty. It has a double draw and it just closes, so you can then tie it around the bottleneck if you want, or you can just cinch it down and leave it. I did not get these for bottles. I think they are great bottle gift bags, and if they show up again in an online outlet sale, I might grab more just for that reason and gift it to my gal pals and whatnot um, over the holidays or whatever. But I think, <laughs> you know, I mean, I bought them for other reasons, because you know, I travel a lot and I've got all kinds of knick-knacky things, and, so this could be a storage bag for lots of things. For example, I could put my plastic utensils in it in the trailer. I could put um, grocery bags, you know, the plastic grocery bags, and you can store them in one of these and just, you know, cram them in there and then pull them out as you need them. You could use it for um, storing pencils or pens or put your reusable straws all together in a bag or things like that, something long and skinny or a bunch of little things because you can reach your hand down in there. Now you can't like open it up and get into it really well, but you can like shimmy it down to get to the bottom of it. So anyway, I, I always think outside the box. I just, it is the way my brain works, but they're nice and very colorful and definitely holiday-ish, but not necessarily strictly for the holidays. So there you go. All right, this next item this is a Zip ID and Lanyard. It is the combo set. This is Lavender Pearl. So you can see that sort of metallic sheen. It is a very slightly purplish silver. That's what I would describe it. Purplish silver. Um, but it is definitely, it, it's, it is lavender, but it's a very, very faint light lavender. Now, the thing about this is, uh, well, a couple things. I did know it was the metallic. I, I don't have any bags in this. I always have a concern about the durability of this fabric. I haven't heard anything about it, but I kind of thought it would crack and peel. I don't know. But anyways, I finally gave in. It was a great price. And I do love lanyards and zip IDs, let's be honest. Um, this is, however, what's confusing me is it's a retail pattern, right? Like this came out around the time of Lavender Meadow and had that same interior with the ladybugs. Or so I thought. Like I remember a campus backpack in this because I almost got one. But when I look at this, it says ultralight zip ID and lanyard lavender pearl. But ultralight is a factory outlet thing. So I'm scratching my head a little bit. Is this retail or is it outlet? No, it doesn't matter at all because I got it either way. I would have got it either way. I just find that that crossover is confusing me a little bit. But anyway, it is in fact ultralight feeling material, but it does have a little bit more robustness to it. It does also have the macro quilting, so those big old diamonds on there. Matters not either way. I just think it's kind of like a puffy jacket as the feel and the look that I get from this, honestly. Um, 
I'm really excited about it though because I think it sort of is a little bit, like I said, silvery. So it's a little bit dressier, if you will. So if I'm cruising and I'm, I, I wanna carry a little bit dressier one or I need it to be more water resistant, there you go. So the reactive ones are waterproof. This says on this little thing, lightweight and water repellent. There you go, ultra light. So got that one. And then I also got another lanyard because even though I have, I have a lot of lanyards, but I have many more zip IDs than I have lanyards. So I try to use the lanyards like one lanyard can go with different zip IDs because they really don't need one-to-one -one for everything, honestly, let's be real. Um, but this one is in rustic blue. It is the, I don't know, is this microfiber? I think it is. Yeah. <laughs> Kelly's tearing apart her bed a little. Whatever. <laughs> um, it's almost like, um, yeah, it's microfiber. Anyway, it's another blue option. So I have a lot of like the teal blues and, uh, and whatnot. I didn't have a blue blue except for the denims. So this kind of is a go between a gap filler for me, um, especially for cruising because I have all those nautical zippities and lanyards and whatnot. Speaking of cruising and nautical, I did get a new sunglass case. This is the factory style one. I mean, you can use it for glasses too, not just sunglasses. But this is Anchors Away, and I'm super happy about the pattern placement because there's all the colors, got a pretty turtle and then even on the other side. So I've got really great turtles and I'm excited because yay. The only thing I think would have made me happier is to have an anchor, like a full anchor because it is sort of my cruising thing. Um, but yeah, that will be a great addition to the cruising options and or lake life and or whatever. And once again, speaking of cruising, I got two soft fringe scarves. I now have three nautical ones. I have the, the seahorse, of course, which I took on the last trip in December. And these two will go nicely with it. This is um, Paisley Wave. And this is a retail side item. And I know it's very sheer, so it'll be hard to see the pretty pattern. But you can see all the fishies and coral and paisleys in there. And it's teal colors. And you can see it's actually pretty big. Um, these are very lightweight though but they're really great if you have just like, okay, a cold day on the ship, it happens especially out of Jersey in December. Um, but you know, you can put it on like that. You can, you know, put it down and wrap it around again, get a little warmth out of it. A little, believe it or not, actually works just block that wind. Or you can use it to tie up your hair. You can use it as just a little bit of a sunscreen, like a shawl kind of thing, or just, you don't want to be hot out on the sun deck, but you want a little of the sun off you or a slight breeze and you just put that lightweight thing on you. I just think it's perfect for all those kind of things and so many more things too. Plus it's just a pretty scarf to dress up your outfit any given day. Um, and like I said, I love the colors. So there you go, there's that. And I have a great many scarves. Uh, yeah, you'd think I wear them every day, the amount I have of them. This one, the Anchors Away, is a factory style one, but all of the same things I said about the other are still true. I almost feel like this one is a little bit more sheer than the other, but this one is clearly like made for cruising, honestly. Look at, um, you got those anchors in there and all the sea life and the bright colors and all the blues and reds and greens, yeah. So again, really great. And then here on the end of this one, you have that bright pop of that sort of royal blue, which is really pretty. But I do like them. I think they're great for so many things. Doesn't match my outfit today, so let's take it off and I'll fold them up and put them away. Whew. All right, the last item I got, this is a small haul for me, <laughs> but the last item I got is the Lighten Up Journey Backpack in Wisteria. I, I love purple, I love backpacks. I'm a big fan of the Journey and the Journey retails for 175, but this, was about 50 bucks. Now I'll put all the prices in the comments down below as always, but yeah, that is a really great deal. I couldn't pass it up. I have a stack of journeys. I've honestly hardly used them, but not because of them, but because I have like so many backpacks. Um, and this is definitely one that isn't an everyday bag for me. Like maybe if I was doing school 
um, or whatnot, but they're great for travel and I love um, taking them on trips with me. So that's great. Anyway, so let's look at the journey in detail here. This is the older style journey because it's lightened up. Now they're reactive and they have a little bit different configuration, maybe slightly different dimensions, basically the same, but like I said, slightly different. But I like this version personally. I don't own any of the new ones to tell the truth, but that's because they haven't appealed to me and I already have too many. So here goes. Front pocket right here, straight across the bottom. You have a slip pocket right here. I know it's hard to see and we'll get a look at that interior in a second, but it's just a slip pocket and a nice big open pocket that is that whole front panel. So you zip that up. Then um, before we go into the internal compartments, you have one compartment, two compartments, plus you have the tech compartment. So it's three main compartments, but you also have the sunglasses thing. You've got side cargo pockets. You've got a side secret pocket, which is a great place for your wallet, by the way. It is, um, it goes across the bag about yay big, but it goes all the way across. So it's a really big pocket actually. And it keeps it up close against the body. It's a little harder to pickpocket. Definitely a more secure place. That's why I say put my wallet there. Um, again, we'll go into the pockets in a moment. But let's talk about all the handles and straps. So you have this top grab handle. It's a seatbelt strap that's rolled over and sewn. So it's a nice grab handle. You have a side handle right here. So you can carry it kind of like a suitcase or a duffel. You also have a assist lift on the bottom so you can carry it or lift it up into things like that um yeah so those are the big things the bottom compartment is um ventilated so you can see the vents here it is a shoe compartment so we'll get to that in a moment on the back you have very ergonomic nice straps good proportions good adjustability they are padded and ventilated with this mesh. The back of the bag is meshed as well and padded. It has the chest strap, which is nice. And this is adjustable two ways. You have the lateral adjustability with this piece right here, but it also adjusts up and down. See this slide right here? So you can adjust that strap up and down a certain amount within that space. Um, and it's not a super lot, but it's enough. And this one is on like an elastic and the, the thing slides up and down. That's fine. Um, you also, you can detach this strap right here. So unhook your backpack strap right there and you can tuck in those buckles. So you tuck that in and then you can tuck this strap right down here. Let's do it. So you tuck that strap in And now you, you have a strapless bag. So for example, not that I would, but you could check this bag. So you tuck in all the loose straps and you could check it like a suitcase. There you go. Um, yeah. I don't personally check soft-sided things, but that, that's something you could do. Anyway, it's a backpack to me, so I don't need to worry about that. But that does allow you to like thread other things through and just rehook your strap, different ideas, things like that. Okay. You also on here have two loops that you can clip things on. Um, maybe if you're going hiking or backpacking and you wanna hook a whistle or a light or a glow stick or a hand sanitizer for a park bag, whatever. So many ways you can use those, hook on even a water bottle. Um, yeah, I think that's all I have to say about all of that. Let's get into these other compartments that we've kind of skipped over. We'll start with this front compartment. It is a double zipper and it opens pretty far down both sides. So you can really get down into this pocket, which is nice because there's a lot of organization. You have a key clip right here at the top. It's a, you know, just a quick release kind of thing. You've got one slip, two slip, and two pen slots right here. And there's a really good look at that pretty internal pattern. It's sort of like a sketch floral. Then on the 
front of the bag, you have a zipper pocket that's meshed so you can see what's in it. Um, and this pocket goes all the way to the bottom and it does have a bit of space to it. So I don't know, maybe a finger to two fingers of gusset. It's just not obvious the way it's sewn there, but that is its own space right there. All right, so we'll zip up that compartment. And shh, I left the blinds open again. She likes to patrol the neighborhood. All right, um, up top here, this is what I call the sunglass thing. You can put anything you want there, your keys, a small quick items, a little wallet. It has this soft lined piece right here. It's semi-rigid, so I mean, it has some structure to it. Perfect place for sunglasses, of course, with that fleecy sort of feel to it. It has a Velcro bit to help hold it in place, but you can also take that out and then that gives you a little bit more flexibility of how you want to use that pocket. It is lined still and very functional. So there's your options there. I'm gonna put that back in and it just kind of protects your stuff right there. Then this next pocket, this is your main pocket, like the main main. In here we have a scent strip <laughs> and then you have two mesh pockets, one here and one here. Let's see if there's anything else inside. No. But here's the thing about the journey. There are a couple of shared spaces. One is this top piece. You can see that's that little semi-rigid piece right here. So if you want to use this interior compartment to its maximum, you could take that hard piece out, leave that more flat, and then that gives you that much more space to the inside. If you're using this, it's outside. Does that make sense? So you're sharing that bit of space. Also, this bottom bit right here, this is that shoe compartment from the other side. And so if you have that compartment full from the bottom, that eats up that internal space. If you're not using that compartment, this will squish down and flatten out and that gives you that full internal space. So this piece right here is shared um, internally. So let's open that up next. So you open that up and it's very robust material right here, which is good because it's the bottom of the bag and also because whatever you put in this pocket might be soiled or dirty or wet. So you don't want that to transfer to the rest of the bag. It keeps it here, which is nice. Um, so there you go. But you can see it's a pretty robust material. I would say kind of like a heavyweight lighten up is the feel of it. Uh, but you can see how much shared space you could be losing internally if all of this was being used inside. The other thing is, let's say that I had a pair of shoes down here or a toiletry bag or something, maybe just a toiletry bag that I wanted to pull out. If I have the bag laying down and I pull that out, I might pretty easily be able to put it back in. Um, but sometimes with bags like this, if you're... If you're standing it up, then all that stuff crushes it down. Now you have to flip it upside down to gain your space back. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, ask a question and I'll try and explain better. But I've experienced that, not with the journeys, thankfully, but there you go. I honestly haven't used this bottom compartment. Um, it might be a good place to hide something, like maybe even like flat, like your passport wallet and whatever as long as it's me and your control and whatnot, because it's, it's not obvious that there's even a pocket there. So that might be another thing to think, uh, perhaps if you're traveling, but there you go. So that is the Journey Backpack in Wisteria, which is a beautiful purple color. And this is one of those colors that in different light looks a little bit different. Like right now in this lighting, it looks like a deeper purple. It is a pretty good purple. It is, it is kind of deep. But if I put it, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see a different lighting here. Yeah, anyway, sometimes when you see pictures of it, it looks a little bit lighter, but it is a nice purple. So there you go. That's it for this one. I hope you're having a wonderful St. Patrick's Day. Don't drink too much green beer and stay tuned. We've got several more videos coming your way. Bye for now.